Summer squash and zucchini are some of my favorite things to grow in a container. They're easy to grow, quick to harvest, have beautiful ornamental squash blossoms, and look great on a deck or porch or patio. Growing summer squash and zucchini in containers is fun and super easy. You just need the right container, the right soil, full sun, and to select bush type varieties. All of Burpee's bush type varieties are clearly labeled on every packet. Bush varieties mean they grow in a low, mounding, compact habit, which is ideal for container use. The first element to growing great container squash is selecting the right container. You want a container that's going to be wide enough to allow you to put multiple plants, deep enough to accommodate the root system and also enough water later in the season, and proper drainage so that the roots don't end up drowning. Never ever use garden soil or landscape soil because they can be heavy and compact which won't allow your roots to grow and they can also contain weeds and other sorts of germs that you don't want in your containers. The three container sizes that you could use for doing container vegetables are 12 inches, 18 inches, and 24 inches. This measurement refers to the diameter of the width of the pot. Since squash are such heavy feeders, I prefer a container that's 18 inches in diameter or greater. And the larger the container, the less often you have to water. Planting is the easy part. Every burpee seed packet has simple instructions that cover the basics of planting, including depth, so how deep to put your seeds, spacing, how far apart to put each seed, and an easy to reference growing calendar. Plant your three seeds close together in the middle of the container. Now that our seeds have been placed in the soil, we'll just want to lightly firm the soil back over them to settle close to the seed. The final step is to gently water in the container, settling the soil around the seed and starting the germination process. Here we are just two months after first planting our seeds. You can see that our three plants are doing beautifully. They're flowering and they're fruiting and they're putting on a lot of foliage and now it's time to harvest. It's been really fun going from seed to seedling to mature plant. And finally, we get to taste our fruit. The key to a good harvest is harvesting the fruit at the proper length and as you'll notice, I cut the stem on an angle so that later in the season when it's raining, the rain runs right off the cut instead of collecting there, which can lead to bacterial issues. At this point in the season, your plant is losing a lot of energy every day. All of that energy is going into new leaves, new roots, flowers, and fruit. So you can do it a favor and keep fruit coming on by starting to fertilize every 10 to 14 days. I mentioned earlier that watering one to two inches every week is important to healthy plants. Adding in fertilizer now every 10 to 14 days will boost your yield and guarantee a lot of harvest. Finally, make sure that you pick fruit at the proper size before they get too large. Otherwise, you'll notice that your yield will decline. For squash, that's generally seven to eight inches long.